All right, back in the pottery studio, and my pieces should have come out of the bisque kiln already. There's one. Oh, yeah, I'm happy with how far that came out. And now I'm going to glaze it and put it back in. Let's see. There's the other one. And the third one I didn't put in yet for the kiln, so that came out pretty cool, too. This is Sarah, she is applying wax to the bottom of her pot. And what that does is, once you grab it with the tongs and you dip it in one of these giant glaze buckets, the wax resists the glaze so that the bottom of the pot is not glazed. And that way when you put it in the kiln, it, the melted glass won't fuse it to the bottom of the kiln. That's why you'll notice, even if you buy mugs or bowls from the store, from even from the dollar store, anywhere, anything that's ceramic, the very bottom usually is unglazed. You can pick up a, a coffee pot in your kitchen right now and look underneath and you'll find there's there's raw, rougher clay on the bottom of your piece. Find hands and you can zoom in real close. Okay. Right. So this is the wax. clear glaze and what it's going to do after it's right now it's water silica which is basically powdered glass and some other chemicals that help it bond to the piece but once I take the tongs and I'll dip it and then once we fire it I'll hold it real tight And then, pause it for one second. And then we take the sponge, and because of the wax resist, we can wipe the glaze off the bottom here. And then once we, once it comes out of the glaze kiln, which is the hotter kiln, gets up to almost 2,400 degrees, you will see clear melted glass over the surface of this. And, do this guy too. All right. Oh wait, I gotta put the wax on there first. Anyway, I will see you guys soon when I edit the next few videos.